Hi, this is Jim with Winchester Systems. This brief tutorial will outline and illustrate how to create a partition and map it to a host. First, let's log into Flash Disk Global Manager version 3. We're going to use this RF2U12 R0 to create a partition from a logical volume and map it. Select Partition and Create New Partition. Now you can name your partition whatever you'd like or leave it as the default partition 1. The size can be adjusted as well and we're going to use the full capacity of 9.08 terabytes. What we also want to do is we want to map this partition to a host or in other words provision the storage to a server in your infrastructure so you'll be able to use it. So we'll select map partition to host at this step as well. The mapping consists of provisioning that LUN or partition through a RAID controller, either the slot A or slot B RAID controller, through a specific channel. Here we're going to use slot A channel 0. We have our summary screen which outlines the steps we've taken and the choices we've made. And now the partition is being mapped to the host as a host LUN. Now that the task has been completed, let's go back and verify what we've done. We see now that under Partitions, we have a Partition 1, which we just created. We can then get more further detail information by clicking on the Partition 1 and noticing the size, noticing the volume has been mounted or mapped, and the total capacity. To map a partition to a host so that it is redundant, in other words, it can survive a RAID controller failure, what we'll need to do is take one extra step. So let's go through the partition creation and mapping again. So create partition. We will make this 9.08 terabytes in size, and we will map the partition to a host. Now, instead of just mapping out the partition through slot A controller, what we'll do is we'll map it out of both slot A and slot B. This creates a redundant situation where if slot A fails, slot B will then take over and service I.O. to that partition, ensuring that there's no interruption in production time to your host LUN at the server level. And our summary screen to let us know what we've done. That is an example of how to create a partition and map it to a host as a host LUN for both a non-redundant configuration with our partition 1 mapped out of only one channel on one controller and a redundant situation where we take this partition and map it out of one channel on two controllers for redundancy. There are a multitude of other ways that you can actually create and provision partitions. This brief outline was just geared to showing you the easiest way to do it and the most simplistic way to do it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please contact our Winchester Systems Technical Support Department at 866-WSI-HELP or support.winsys.com. Thanks for joining. We'll catch you next time.